The future of space travel took a monumental leap forward yesterday, as SpaceX successfully conducted a critical engine firing test of their mighty Starship spacecraft. In this video, we will take a look at the latest update on SpaceX's progress towards sending its giant Starship spacecraft into orbit. Just recently, at a launch pad in South Texas, 31 of the first stage booster engines ignited in unison, sending plumes of smoke and the deafening roar of rocket power across the landscape. The billionaire entrepreneur behind SpaceX, Elon Musk, was jubilant, tweeting that despite one engine shutting down prematurely, there were still enough engines to reach orbit. As the booster remained steadfastly anchored to the launch pad, all signs indicated that the test was a complete success. Mr. Musk estimates that if all analyses and remaining preparations go smoothly, the first orbital test flight could occur as soon as next month. NASA is relying on the Starship to transport astronauts to the surface of the Moon in the coming years, and eventually, Mr. Musk envisions the mighty spacecraft ferrying human pioneers to the Red Planet. The first stage Super Heavy booster, standing a majestic 69 meters tall, was utilized for yesterday's test, while the futuristic second stage, the part that will actually land on the Moon and Mars, was being prepped for flight in the hangar. Altogether, the Starship stands 120 meters tall, making it the largest and most powerful rocket ever built, with a capability to generate 17 million pounds of liftoff thrust, almost double that of NASA's moon rocket. Last fall, SpaceX fired up to 14 Starship engines, and just last month, they completed a fueling test at the launch pad. As the engines of the Starship came to life, flocks of birds scattered and thick plumes of smoke billowed across the launch complex, known as Starbase, located near the village of Boca Chica on the southernmost tip of Texas, close to the Mexican border. It was a day that will be remembered as a landmark in the history of space exploration, as humanity takes its first steps towards a new future in the heavens. And now it's time to answer one of your questions, this one coming from Mike Clark. Mike brings up a valid concern regarding the potential dangers of red dwarf stars, such as Wolf 1069b. Indeed, red dwarfs are known for their powerful solar flares and mass ejections, which could pose a threat to any potential habitation in the vicinity of the star. However, it's important to note that scientists and astronomers are still conducting research on red dwarf stars and their environments, and it's possible that there could be ways to mitigate the effects of these flares and mass ejections. Additionally, while it's true that red dwarfs have weaker gravity due to their small size, they are also much cooler and longer-lived than other types of stars, which could potentially allow for a more stable environment for life to thrive. At this point, it's still too soon to say definitively whether red dwarfs, including Wolf 1069, are viable candidates for habitation by intelligent life. But it's a fascinating area of study that is sure to yield new discoveries and insights in the years to come. Thank you for your question, Mike, and for keeping the conversation going. Thank you for watching this exciting update on SpaceX's latest milestone in space exploration. We appreciate your ongoing support and interest in the advancements of space travel. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with your family and friends and spread the word about the incredible progress being made by SpaceX. Your support helps to bring us one step closer to realizing the dream of a new frontier in the heavens. Thank you again for watching, and until next time, let's keep reaching for the stars.